don't mind my shirt. This is my night cam shirt, so I don't care. But I am almost done. I'm just filing it down. Instead of adding the polish, I already put the powder on it. Um, yeah. But I wanted to come in here and just chit chat for a little bit because I want to tell y'all something that can really change your life. And that is having faith in God. Okay? So you want to make sure that you continue to have that faith with God because if you don't have that faith with God, honestly, everything will start falling down, going downhill for you. And I'm not even going to lie. And I'm not even trying to like wish that on anybody or put any curse on anybody like that. But it's just something that will happen. Only because the enemy will try you so many times. Because he even be trying me still to this day. Especially like I noticed that it really happens a lot when it's either something big is coming for me. Or I'm on my period. Um, I feel like that's when I'm most vulnerable. Is when I'm on my period. But during those times, I really try to stay focused and stay um, having true faith with God. And how I do that is by refreshing my memory with His Word. Um, his Word on things that are about anxiety or things that is about keeping His faith with Him. One thing that I started to really remember, honestly, is how Daniel was when he went into the lion's den, and he went in there confident, confident. He wasn't scared or nothing like that. He went in there confident because he knew that his God was going to get him out of that den. He knew that his God wasn't going to let anything happen to him. He knew from jump, like, all right, throw me in there. I don't care. If these lions are going to eat me up. They ain't going to tear my head apart. I don't care. Throw me up in there. And that's exactly what happened. He got thrown in there. And what an angel did by God is tied all those lions' mouth up um, in the dens. And then, like, like, tied them up all together. And they did not do anything to Daniel. Um, and that's when the king let him out and was like, wow, your king is powerful. Because you had your faith in your God, that's the reason why you are coming out of this den right now, full head to toe. That is it. <laughs> and that's all because he had faith in God. Literally. That's it. That's it. He went in there with his head head high, held high. Like, what's up? What's up, Lawrence? What's up? What y'all gonna do? Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Because my God is not gonna let you do nothing to me. Period simple as that and I think that's how we have to really go about this thing we call life especially in this wicked world that we live in we gotta really remember that God is with us no matter what the situation is like seriously and I know like it's like a whole rack of things that is going on in this world that will try to get us off track to thinking that God is not with us but trust and believe he is he works in mysterious ways and he doesn't come on our timing he comes on his timing okay i know people be like god how you gonna give your toughest battles to your strongest uh, soldier i don't think i'm your strongest soldier i don't think i'm your strongest warrior you have that attitude how is anything supposed to happen for you because i had that attitude i was like hey god like you got me going through all this stuff, and I don't know if I can make it through. Like, are you sure I'm your toughest warrior? Because you giving me, you seem like you giving me these tough battles, and, and I'm not winning them. That's exactly how I was feeling, but then he showed up and showed out for me, and that's how I do. All right, let me shut up <laughs> because you are there for me. Let me continue to have my faith. Um, and to not be stressing. Like, there's no point to be stressing about nothing for real in this world. Like, we have to, we are supposed to be living in peace. The reason why we are not living in peace is because the enemy be trying to put things into our situation. Temptation, people, with the wicked stuff that's in this world. You get it confused about what you should be worshiping, what you should not be worshiping. That's the reason why you're in that predicament that you live right now. Literally. And I'm not even coming over here to like to try to preach or nothing, but I'm, I'm just stating facts. Like, especially when it comes to suicide, because I'm going to share something with y'all that I don't really share often, but I definitely 
and I'm a survivor from trying to commit suicide with myself. Um, and but the only reason why I got out of that situation is because of God. Literally, if it wasn't for God, I would not have gotten out of that situation at all, whatsoever. Like, it, it really amazes me how much stuff I've been through and where I'm at now is like, wow, God, you are amazing. I really thought I had nobody. I thought, oh, I'm not about to cry. Oh, I really thought I had nobody. I really thought I was alone. I really thought that nobody was here for me. Like, I really thought these things. But God was with me throughout that whole situation, throughout that whole time. That whole time. And because I kept my faith, and because I stayed in my faith, it's the reason why I'm here now. Honestly. Honestly. I feel like if I didn't keep my faith, and I didn't stay strong, um, I honestly probably, he probably would have just let me do it. And, you know, committing uh, any type of murder, even, like, killing yourself is a sin. Um, which I recently found that out not too long ago. Uh, like, right after I tried to commit suicide. Um, but, yeah, like, you just got to really sit back and think about what you're doing to yourself and what you put into your life and who are you putting in your life, you know? Like, because this world is really wicked. You can get blinded by so many things in this world. And you do not, you do not want to do that, okay? At all, whatsoever. But, yeah, I just wanted to really just have this little talk with y'all real quick as I file this down. And I don't want to make this video too long, but I still want to film for tomorrow when I go see the show. Um, but, yeah, I hope this helps somebody, Okay. Keep your faith with God. Do not let it go by. And do not let it go down. I mean, I know some days can be hard. I know some days can be good. I know some days can be eh. You can wake up feeling icky. I realized um, yesterday what I did was I started to play. I didn't even know YouTube even had these things until my mom started doing it. Um, YouTube has these things. Like, as you sleep, you can play. Somebody can, like, be reading scriptures out of the Bible and also be playing, like, waves in the background or music in the background. Um, and that actually helped me go to sleep. Oh, wait. What's on this one? I don't know which finger I was just on. Um, that helped me go to sleep and that helped me really I think for my ow my hair got a little cramp <laughs> my hair's gonna be <laughs> but that helped me really um, go to sleep and I think for my subconscious it helps my subconscious as well with remembering uh, you know God's word and when I woke up, I read my Bible, I prayed, thanking God for waking me up in the morning, um, I prayed, and I, and I don't just pray for myself, I pray for my family, I pray for the people in this world, literally before I went to sleep, before I cut on that, um, YouTube video, I prayed for this world and people that are struggling with suicide right now, suicidal thoughts and stuff like that, and I got really emotional because I've been there, like, I've literally been there. And I know how that feeling feels. Like, oh God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. But I've been there and I know that feeling. And I don't want, like, you know, people out here thinking that they don't have anybody because they do. You have God. If you don't have nobody, you have God. Okay? Just try to build a relationship with Him. Try to get close with Him. Get in His Word. Pray to Him. Even if you think that He's not listening to you, He is. That's all you have to do is just pray to him and tell him everything that you have going on with you. Honestly, that's all you have to do. Okay? Get in his word. Pray. Keep that faith. Do not let it go. Even if the enemy tries you, come back ten times stronger. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I will have faith over fear always. Period. I can do all. Oh, I'm sorry. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Period. Don't play. I rebuke any negative spirit. I rebuke any negativity. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I am a child of God. Okay? 
this is what you should be saying on a daily basis. If any time you have, any time you feel like the enemy is trying you, say these things. I bet you will stop. How much you want to bet? We can bet money. For real, for real. And I don't even want your money. We can just bet on your face. How about that? <laughs> for real, for real. Okay. I'm just rambling now. I just want to give y'all little tips on how you can keep your faith in God and how this can change your life for the better. Because I've been there. I know um, times get hard and everything like that. Um, and I just want to help somebody as much as I can. Spread the gospel as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, I will show y'all how my nails look um, at the end. And then tomorrow you will see me at the Broadway show and all that good stuff. And yeah. Hey y'all, I am so freaking tired like and earlier my thumbnail came off but i did it again um hopefully none of the rest of these nails pop off it is cheap acetone and acrylic liquid so let me reach my store Whew, so hopefully it stays on but i'm about to get ready i took a nap um it wasn't a long nap at all whatsoever and I ate a big lunch and my stomach is still out. It looks like I'm pregnant, but that's telling you it's just a food baby. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get dressed. I mean, I'm about to do my face. I was going to wear a dress, but honestly, I don't feel like it. So I'm just about to do my face and call it a day. And yeah. Catch y'all. Well, I'm down to do something. I don't, I don't know. I'm like half awake right now. I was just. edges like before I did my face so this is not it's not
so far it looks like it's coming together. Um, I'm just gonna put my mascara on. I'm not putting on the lashes. Put my mascara on and do my edges, and then I'll be done. <laughs> Some highlight. Oh, I'm still not awake. Like, I kid you not. Like, I could fall asleep right now. I might just fall asleep on that bus ride to New York. Because I always put highlight on my eyebrow line. I get a little oof, a little sparkle. Mm -hmm. Typical. Bones going upward. My nose. And my chin. far from the theater from like Port Authority I mean it's not far from the theater so I'm trying to think if I want to take it out I just might let me do my edges and I will come back to you playwright on Broadway ever. Yeah. Well, the tickets you have in your head are historic. Now, 
I made it home. This is the end of the vlog. I'm um, I'm ending my vlog. Um, I definitely could not like record the show, of course. Ooh. Definitely could not record the show, but it was a phenomenal show. I will put the them doing their bows after this clip. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In the next video, you'll probably see me for Christmas. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but happy holidays, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Put that bell notification on to get notified. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.